The Solomonic dynasty, also known as the House of Solomon, is the former ruling imperial house of the Ethiopian Empire. The dynasty's members claim patrilineal descent from the biblical King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Tradition asserts that the Queen gave birth to Menelik I after her biblically described visit to Solomon in Jerusalem. In 1270, the Zagwe dynasty of Ethiopia was overthrown by Yekuno Amlik, who claimed descent from Solomon and reinitiated the Solomonic era of Ethiopia. The dynasty would last until 1974, ended by a coup d'état and deposition of the Emperor Haile Selassie. History The Solomonic dynasty was a bastion of Judaism and later of Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity. It is claimed that this dynasty ruled Ethiopia as early as the 10th century BC, although there is no historical evidence to support this claim. Records of the dynasty's history were supposedly maintained by the Ethiopian Orthodox monasteries to near antiquity, however, if such records existed, most were lost as a result of the destruction of Orthodox monasteries by the resurgent Judaic Judith I. Yekuno Amlik, an Amhara prince from the old province Bet Amhara, re-established the dynasty, tracing his ancestry to the last Solomonic king of Aksum, Dil Naid or Anbesa Wudm. The dynasty re-established itself on 10 Nihazay 1262 EC the 10th of August 1270 CE when Yekuno Amlik overthrew the last ruler of the Zagwe dynasty. Yekuno Amlik claimed direct male line descent from the old Aksumite royal house that the Zagwes had replaced on the throne. Menelik II, and later his daughter Zebdi II, would be the last Ethiopian monarchs who could claim uninterrupted direct male descent from Solomon of Israel and the Queen of Sheba both Iyasu V and Haile Selassie I were in the female line, Iyasu V through his mother Shiwarega Menelik, and Haile Selassie I through his paternal grandmother, Tenenwerk Sahil Selassie. The male line, through the descendants of Menelik's cousin Dejazmach Te Gulalit, still existed, but had been pushed aside largely because of Menelik's personal distaste for this branch of his family. The Solomonic dynasty continued to rule Ethiopia with few interruptions until 1974, when the last emperor, Haile Selassie I, was deposed. The royal family is currently non regnant. Members of the family in Ethiopia at the time of the 1974 revolution were imprisoned, some were executed, and others exiled. In 1976, ten great-grandchildren of Haile Selassie I were extracted from Ethiopia in an undertaking later detailed in a book by Jody Collins titled Code Word, Catherine. The women of the dynasty were released by the regime from prison in 1989, and the men were released in 1990. Several members were then allowed to leave the country in mid-1990, and the rest left in 1991 upon the fall of the communist regime. Many members of the imperial family have since returned to live in Ethiopia. During much of the dynasty's existence, its effective realm was the northwestern quadrant of present-day Ethiopia, the Ethiopian highlands. The empire expanded and contracted over the centuries, sometimes incorporating parts of modern-day Sudan and South Sudan, and coastal areas of the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. Southern and eastern regions were permanently incorporated during the last two centuries, some by Shiwan kings and some by emperors Menelik II and Haile Selassie I. Although much of the central and southern regions were previously incorporated into the empire under Amda Sayan I and Zara Yaqub, peripheral areas were lost after the invasion of Ahmad Gran. In the modern era, the imperial dynasty has several cadet branches. The elder Gondarine Amhara line, starting with Susenyos in 1606 although often credited to his son Fasilides who established his capital at Gondar ended its rule with the fall of the largely powerless Johannes III in 1855 and the coming to power of Tedros II, whose later claims of Solomonic descent were never widely accepted. Following Tedros, Wagsham Gabiz claimed the throne linking himself to the last independent Gondar emperors through his mother, Hesh Tedla, a descendant of Iyasu I, and reigned as emperor of Ethiopia with the title Tekel Georgis II for some years, highly investing in the renovation of churches and monuments in Gondar. Being also an heir to the Zagwe throne, his reign was meant to be a unification of both dynasties in the enthronement of a king bearing both lineages. Tekel Georgis II fought a battle with the Tigrine claimant Kasai Mercha Johans IV, and the latter, who had retrieved superior weaponry and armament from the British in return for his assistance in the defeat of Tedros II, would be able to defeat Tekel Georgis II's army, imprisoning and killing him. 
The Tigrine line came to power briefly with the enthronement of Johannes IV in 1872, and although this line did not persist on the imperial throne after the emperor was killed in battle with the Mahdists in 1889, the heirs of this cadet branch ruled Tigra until the revolution of 1974 toppled the Ethiopian monarchy. The Tigrine cadet branch, along with its various sub branches, traces its lineage to the main Solomonic line of emperors through at least two female lines. The more recent link was through Woiziro Aster Iyasu, wife of Ross Michael Sehul, daughter of Mentawab and her lover, Melmal Iyasu, a Solomonic prince and nephew of Mentawab's late husband Bakafa. The Shiwan line was next on the imperial throne with the coronation of Manelik II, previously Manelik King of Shiwa, in 1889. The Shiwan branch of the imperial Solomonic dynasty, like the Gondarine line, could trace uninterrupted male line descent from King Yekonu Amlik, though Abeto Nagasi Yisak, the grandson of Dawit II by his youngest son Abeto Yakub. The direct male line ended with Manelik II, who was succeeded first by the son of his daughter Lij Iyasu from 1913 to 1916, then by his daughter Zevditu until 1930, and finally by the son of a first cousin in the female line. Haile Selassie I. Haile Selassie's reign lasted until 1974, when the dynasty was removed from power. His grandson Prince Zara Yaqub is his legal heir and therefore the current head of the imperial dynasty. The Shiwan branch has several sub-branches, most notably the Selail line established by Manelik II's uncle Ras Darj. The oldest junior cadet branch of the Solomonic dynasty is the Gojjam branch which traces its ancestry to Woiziro Romainwork, daughter of Naid and sister of Dawi II. Its most prominent recent members include Tekel Hamanot king of Gojjam, his son Lul Ras Hailu Tekel Hamanot, who was the most senior Ethiopian noble who submitted to the Italian occupation of 1936–1941, and his nephew Ras Hailu Balu who was a noted figure in the resistance against the Italian occupation. Topic. Coat of arms The imperial coat of arms was adopted by Haile Selassie I, and is currently held by his direct heir in the male line, Prince Zara Yaqub, and by the Crown Council of Ethiopia. The arms are composed of an imperial throne flanked by two angels, one holding a sword and a pair of scales, the other holding the imperial scepter. The throne is often shown with a Christian cross, and a Star of David, representing the Christian and Jewish traditions. It is surmounted by a red mantle with the imperial crown, and before the throne is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. The Lion of Judah was the central emblem of the Ethiopian tricolor flag during the reign of the monarchy, and now serves as the chief symbol of the Ethiopian monarchist movement. The Lion of Judah has also been adopted as the leading religious symbol for the Rastafari movement that regards Emperor Haile Selassie as divine. The phrase, Moa Ambasa Z Imnegid Yehuda. Conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah appeared on the arms, and always preceded the emperor's official style and titles, signaling the emperor's submission to Christ, to whom the title belonged. It was an often repeated mistake that the title of Lion of Judah referred to the emperor himself. The official imperial dynastic motto was Ethiopia Tabitsa Edawiya Habe Igjabihir. Ethiopia stretches her hands unto God, a quote from the Psalm chapter 68, verse 31. See also List of emperors of Ethiopia Ethiopian aristocratic and court titles Crown Council of Ethiopia Order of Solomon Order of Saint Mary of Zion References Bibliography <references> 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 Durat Marie Laura, Le Domaine des Rois Ethiopiens, 1270-1527, Paris, Publications de la Sorbonne, 2003, 383p.